Alright, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you a fantastic day. My name is Rose here, and today's video is going to be the first time I ever tried doing an actual, like, story type of video. If you don't know what I mean by that, just go watch Jev or something like that, because, you know, uh, if you do watch him, then you should know what I mean, where I basically tell y'all about something that happened in real life, or something that I heard, or, you know, just stuff like that. But, uh, as you can tell from the title of the video, the story is going to be about how I fractured slash broke my finger. And uh, although I haven't gotten my x-rays back yet, uh, I'm 100% sure I broke it. It looks fucking, it looks fucked up. But um, basically, uh, I'm just going to start off this story by telling, explaining like where we were at and stuff. So uh, if y'all don't know, I'm in band. I am in percussion. If you don't know what percussion is, it's basically, you know, just drums. Or uh, if you don't know what drums are, it's shit you beat. Um, that probably sounds wrong, but anyways, um, we have a, a indoor drum line, and that's, what indoor drum line is, is, uh, basically, you know, obviously we're inside, but, uh, we have just this small mat, or, you know, smaller than a football field, which is usually what, you know, the drums play on, and we have this little show, it's very small, it's like, there's not too much detail or anything like that, since it is just percussion and stuff. So, um, we, we have this, and there's not very many people that end up showing up, because, you know, there is a lot of people that are busy, we have middle schoolers with us as well, and so they're in either, like, track, tennis, they're, you know, they're having to catch up on work, sometimes that's the same thing for me, why I don't show up most of the time, <clears throat> and so, basically what happened this time is that there was only, like, six of us or so, so, uh, you know, we went through practice and everything like that. We had just the few of us that were there. We had the three quads and one, like, cymbals and, uh, like, two front ensemble, which is, like, the piano-looking stuff. And um, so that's all we had. So there wasn't much we could do. We could run through the show as, you know, what we had, but there was not very much, you know, else to do besides do that. So we ended up, our practice is from 7 to 9. So we ended up ending practice like at about 8.15, 8.30, and we didn't necessarily end it. We just, you know, there was nothing left for us to do. So it was basically after practice for us, and we just, we got my friend's basketball, and we ended up just playing. And one of our friends ended up showing up late too, uh, but at least, you know, he showed up. And so we ended up doing a two-on-two uh, two two basketball game. At first, we were playing, like, horse. Uh, we were just shooting around, trying to make half-court shots and shit, uh, you know, as if, like, we knew what we were doing. But um, we did. But, like, at this, you know, in this per uh, perspective, we were just messing around and shit. So we ended up playing a two-on-two. Two, and um, I'm just going to go straight to the point from here. Uh, we are playing the two-on-two, two, and... We are actually, you know, going at it. We weren't, like, just fucking around or anything. We were actually, like, trying to win and shit. We were just going to 10. And uh, it was, like, 5-5 five, five or something like that. And me and my friend were going for this rebound because uh, our our other friend b missed a shot. It hit the rim and bounced out, uh, headed on the other side of the three-point line. It was just kept bouncing and bouncing. And me and him just ran straight for it. So what happened was I went for the ball, and so did he, obviously, because he w was on the other team, if I didn't explain that. And so we went for the ball. I reached my right hand out, which is my dominant hand, and I reached my hand out to get the ball as it was midair from its bounce, and my friend was on my right side, and he tried to reach for it with his left hand to try and give you all a good you know, visual of this. And as he reached out for his left hand, he we obviously when you rebound a ball, or, you know, try to, you know, steal it from the other team or whatever, you're gonna, like, swipe at it and try to, like, bring it into you. So, what happened was, my right hand was in between the ball and in between his hand. So, as I was going for the ball, he was swiping at it, and I tried to get it away from, you know, in between, but as I did that, he ended up hitting my index finger, which you know, uh, if you you know, if you play tennis, if you play if you play games at all, if you do any kind of designing, if you do almost anything at all, you really need your index finger. And so, as once he you know ended up putting pressure against that against the ball, my finger basically like flicked the other the uh, the opposite way of my where my hands were going or my, the other fingers were going. They were going down, and my index finger. Uh, pushed up against the ball, and he his hand pushed up against the my finger. So it basically got stuck, and there was multiple directions from that one finger that was going, you know, everywhere. So 
as soon as I did that, or like we got in that little thing, uh, <laughs> I just I just let them get the ball and I sat there with my hand in between my legs. I was holding it. I swear I thought I just jammed it. It it swelled up insanely fast and I didn't notice until we uh, you know ended up leaving and putting up our drums and shit. So I got home. I showed my mom, obviously, I, you know, I'm 16, so I still live with my mom, and so I showed her, she's, she used to be an athlete and stuff, so she knows, like, what stuff sh- should look like and what shouldn't look like, and obviously she could tell, you know, that's not what her finger should fucking look like, and then I woke up the next morning, this shit's purple as hell, uh, later on that day, um, I, you know, I'm smart enough to, you know, buddy wrap it, which is, like, where you wrap the finger and then the finger next to it. So we get home, and I show my mom, and after I take out the tape, I'm like, oh shit. I show her, and that shit, it's purple and red in different spots. It's all swelled up and shit. I have small hands, but, you know, my thumb is obviously bigger than my other fingers, uh, even though, you know, my thumb is basically the same size as anybody else's pinky. But I look at it, and this shit looks like my thumb, and it's not supposed to look like that, and I compare it to my other finger, and it's just scary. So, we go to the clinic, and which is, you know, if you don't know what a clinic is either, it's just an indoor, or uh, a walk-in doctor, where you just, you know, you sign in, and then you go in there, they check you, and then you walk out and pay, whatever. And so, all they did was add a splint and stuff, then we went to the doctor and got an x-ray, so I'm waiting for that tomorrow, and so basically, uh, that's like the end of the story, but... Uh, not there's no moral of the story or anything just you know don't be stupid and you know play basketball when you have practice for something else <laughs> even though even if it's done just just go home don't don't try anything else but anyways um i should have explained this at the beginning of the video if you guys actually stayed to the end of this basically uh the reason i'm ex- i like wanted to tell this story was just you know to get a video out there and want to try something different as well as the reason i want to let y'all know that my shit is fractured slash broken um is because you know I am a competitive player for uh excuse me I am a competitive player for Apex as well as a designer when you know when it comes to this kind of community instead of like IRL and um so those of you that are wanting designs and stuff like that uh I am able to do them I'm not gonna you know slack off with that stuff but it will take a little bit extra time than what I usually do take because you know I'm still having to get used to using my two other fingers uh my that. I don't know what that the ring finger or whatever and then my pinky finger as well so i'm not able to use the other two fingers at all the the fuck you finger and the index finger at all so my designs are going to be a little bit uh you know it's going to take a little bit more time and then as well as when it comes to making videos of apex like highlight videos and stuff like that it's going to be a lot more difficult and uh i'll probably you know i don't know how long it'll take maybe a month at, at, at the most a month so uh, I won't be able to play at all. Um, hoping this thing heals uh, sooner than it should. So hopefully I'll be able to play a little bit more. And then I'll also start streaming as soon as this thing heals. So uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for hopefully sticking around to this, the end of this video. Um, this is my first time trying a story video. So hopefully I didn't sound like shit. I was actually, I felt like I was able to, you know, talk most of the time. Instead of actually stutter a fuck ton of times. But uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, click that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.